Hi, my name is Rob Ray with MP3 Car. I'm here at the Intel booth, and we're taking a look at a mock-up that they made of a dashboard. And in this dashboard, they have a reference design of a car computer that is based on the Atom chipset. And so I'm going to go over a couple of the features that are in this reference platform. This is a really exciting product, and I think uh, we're on our way to having some uh, interesting products in our car. So this device is made by Giantech and Conga Tech. I, forgive me if I'm pronouncing that wrong. So they built a hundred of these units. They are charging $2,500 apiece, and that includes an LVDS screen, which is not actually on display. They're using a VGA screen for this reference platform. The unit takes 6 to 24 volts input. It's running on Wind River with a a mock-up navigation engine. This is more of like a video game than a real navigation engine. It's designed to show you the horsepower that an Intel processor in the car can give you with a 3D routing experience. The BIOS boots in two seconds and we have a bunch of interesting connectors. On the back of the device we have Mosbus, we have inside we have a PCI Express so you can add a a, a, a WiMAX card or a Wi-Fi card. We have a Bluetooth connector. We have an antenna connector for your FM radio. Of course, we have the LVDS output. There's VGA output. There is everything you need to connect to your car. Uh, we're going to talk with Mark a little bit later to find out what type of challenges they have and why they use Linux, and uh, we'll go from there. Thanks for watching.